Good morning. It is January 15th. We are halfway through January. That's crazy. Um, my name is Irene Mahoney. I am a certified health coach with Optivia. Uh, maybe some of you had health goals and you were trying different things um, and it didn't work out. So now you're researching um, and maybe you found my channel and you're wondering what Optivia is and maybe is it right for you. Um, so I'll drop my email down below and feel free to email me if you've got any questions. I'd love to help um, you if you are looking for a health coach. We are gonna kick off today with uh, my protein shake. So I got my Nutribullet blender bottle. I added a couple of handfuls of ice. Uh, I forgot to make the iced coffee last night, but if you just go to Market Basket, you can grab this Starbucks Dark Roast. So we're just gonna fill that to, you know, about there. Uh, I like the vanilla shake with the Dark Roast coffee. Ooh. You can also put the chocolate, the mocha, peanut butter. Just depends on what you like. I do not like the peanut butter in there. I've seen people put the brownie and the chocolate chip cookie in there. And you take the good ice breaking up this attachment, close that up, give it a good shake. I'll blend this up and be right back. So here's my first fueling for the day. I want to make sure we eat be within one hour of waking up to turn our metabolism on, get it really going. A lot of people have just stopped eating all day and then they only eat one big meal at the end of the day and it just turns your metabolism off and when you finally give it that big meal at the end of the day it's like I don't know what to do with this I'm just going to keep it all and turn it into fat um so I have so many clients that are like I barely even eat I, I just eat at the end of the day and you know come to find out like your body wants little bits of fuel all day so that's why we call them fueling so here's our first fueling the dark roast coffee with the vanilla shake Mm. This one's delicious. All right, I'm going to enjoy this and uh, see what we're going to do this Saturday. I'll see you in a couple hours for fueling too. Today we're going to try something a little different. So I took the chocolate chip cookie and the brownie and I mixed them together uh, with one fourth cup of water. And that's going to make two fuelings and we're going to bake this at 375 for about 12 minutes. Here is my chocolate chip brownie cookie. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this as fueling too. It's a nice way to have a warm fueling without making 12 muffins. Um, I think I maxed out on muffins the other week there. Um, but this is a nice way to have a delicious, warm fueling. Also, there's no egg beater in here. So for those of you that are worried that there's too much egg beater in some of the fueling hacks, this just has water. So I'm going to enjoy this cookie as fueling two, and I'll see you in a little bit for fueling three. Time for fueling three. We're going to have the smoky barbecue crunchers. Just going to kind of hang out have a chill day, read my book, and enjoy my crunchers here. Try to get my water in. I'm much better at getting my water while I'm at home, and I can run to the bathroom every 10 minutes. Uh, work's a little trickier, but we're working on it. Hopefully you are too. All right, I will see you in a little bit for a few and four. I'm gonna grab this peanut butter and chocolate chip bar as I run out the door. I'm going to go to dinner. It's my parents' anniversary tonight, um, so I probably won't film the Lean and Green, but they get a nice salad bar there, and I looked at the menu. I'll get like the petite filet and drink some Diet Coke, so going to dinner with a plan, um, and then I will see you back here for dessert. Just getting back from dinner, celebrating my parents' 50th anniversary. Uh, Diet-wise, I didn't do so good, but it was really such a great night. Um, so nice of my family to come out and celebrate 
my parents being married for 50 years. That's so crazy. So I have the second cookie here all set for tonight's dessert. Mm, but I don't get to eat it because accidentally I ate the cake that got served. Almost on impulse, like not even thinking about it. So yeah. So we got a little derailed at dinner, diet wise, but that's all right. We'll start again tomorrow, get back on track and everything will be fine. Darn it. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, drop some comments down below. Sometimes we mess it up and that's okay because we gotta start again in a couple hours with the next fueling.